You are probably familiar with famous jets like the U-2, F-16 Falcon, or F-22 Raptor. Globally, these multi-role combat jets are well known for their superior features and offensive capabilities. But have you ever heard of the Saab JAS-39 Gripen? Though not as famous as its US counterpart, the Swedish fighter jet should not be underestimated when it comes to systems and capacity. Well, how amazing is it really? Manufactured by the Swedish aerospace and defense company Saab AB, JAS-39 Gripen is a light single-engine multi-role combat aircraft in service with the Swedish Air Force. The Gripen features a delta wing, which is a wing shaped in the form of a triangle. It also has a canard configuration with negative stability design and fly-by-wire flight system, replacing the conventional manual flight controls with an electronic interface. By 2020, more than 200 Gripens of various models A to F have been developed. First, let's dig into the history of the JAS-39 Gripen. The development of JAS-39 Gripen began when Sweden sought to build new fighters to replace its aging Saab 35 Draken and Saab 37 Vigen in the late 1970s. For a defensive dispersed basing plan in the case of invasion, the Swedish Air Force needed a cheap Mach 2 aircraft with good short field performance. The concept included 800 meter long by 17 meter wide primitive runways from the Base 90 system. One goal was to make the plane smaller than the Vigen while maintaining or increasing its payload range performance. The Saab 38, also known as the B-3LA, was proposed as an attack aircraft and trainer, and the A-20, a modification of the Vigen, was proposed as a fighter, attack, and maritime reconnaissance aircraft. The General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon, the McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet, and the Northrop F-20 Tiger Shark were among the foreign designs which were studied and taken as references. In 1979, the Swedish government commenced a study for an all-around platform capable of JAS, which stands for Aerial Warfare, Close Air Support as well as Reconnaissance, indicating multi-role capabilities to satisfy various roles during missions. A number of Saab designs were reconsidered, with Project 2105 being the most favorable, recommended to the government by the Defense Material Administration. Then, in the 1980s, the industrial arm of the Swedish Armed Forces consisting of several big corporations like Saab Scania, LM Ericsson, and Volvo Flagmotor established the JAS Industry Group as a joint venture. The Gripen was first rolled out by Saab on April 26, 1987, at the company's 50th anniversary. The first flight on December 9, 1988 was actually delayed by 18 months due to some issues with the flight control system. Problems concerning the aircraft's avionics, particularly the fly-by-wire flight control system FCS, and the relaxed stability design appeared during the test program. This problem caused the prototype to crash during an attempted landing at Linkoping on February 2, 1989 with the test pilot Large Rydstrom surviving with a broken elbow. Pilot-induced oscillation was determined as the cause of the crash, which was caused by issues with the FCS's pitch control routine. Following the crash, the Saab and U.S. firm Calspan introduced software-related modifications to the aircraft. A partnership agreement between Saab military aircraft and British Aerospace was announced during the 1995 Paris Air Show. This cooperation between the two will form the joint venture company Saab BAE Gripen AB with the purpose of adapting, producing, marketing, and supporting Gripen at the international level. The partnership also involves the transfiguration of the A and B series aircraft to the export C and D series which encouraged the Gripen's compatibility with the standard of NATO. Now, let's take a look at the design and features embedded in the JAS-39 Gripen. One thing that probably differentiates Gripen from the rest of the 4-plus generation fighters on the market is its small size along with the low cost required to operate this aircraft. 
Even though it's difficult to calculate the flyaway cost, the Gripen reportedly had the government spend less than $60 million. Gripen also boasted its low operational cost, probably the lowest of any modern fighter jets. For its physical specs, the Gripen could take off at a maximum of 16,500 kilograms and is able to accelerate up to Mach 2. Notable for its supercruise ability, Gripen has a range of approximately 1,500 kilometers. For either beyond visual range missile, BVR, and dogfighting combatants, Gripen is surely at the top of its class. The Gripen has a reputation for being user-friendly, with simple displays and a straightforward interface. In terms of lethality, the Gripen was the first fighter in the world to carry the lethal Meteor air-to-air -air missile, a beyond-visual-range BVR weapon capable of tracking and killing targets up to 80 miles away. The Gripen C is capable of carrying four Meteor missiles, while the Gripen E is capable of carrying seven. Another interesting aspect of the Gripen is the addition of dedicated electronic warfare pods to the Gripen's already allegedly formidable onboard jamming capabilities. According to Saab, this is probably the most advanced EW suite carried by a fighter, making the Gripen a valuable commodity for suppression or destruction of enemy air defense dead missions. Lastly, now let's take a look at the operational history of the aircraft. A total of 204 Gripens were ordered by the Swedish Air Force in three batches. The first delivery was made to the Flyvakmnet on June 8, 1993 during a ceremony in Linkoping. The last of the first batch was sent on December 13, 1996. The first batch 2 sample was delivered to the Air Force on December 19, 1996. The Gripen has been exported to Hungary, the Czech Republic, Thailand, Brazil, and South Africa by Saab. Finland, Canada, Colombia, Botswana, Croatia, India, Indonesia, and the Philippines are among the countries that have expressed interest, with another dozen or so countries indicating some interest. Saab has been generally receptive to technology transfer and has made it easier for local companies to participate in the production process of some components. This has made the Gripen an interesting option for governments who struggle to explain where they spent the money to the skeptical public. Because of the involvement of British Aerospace Systems, the United Kingdom has an effective veto over the Gripen's export. Argentina has been unable to obtain the aircraft as a result of this. On the other hand, in the instance of Switzerland, the Gripen was caught up in the ongoing court case against right-wing agitator Julian Assange, as his supporters rallied against a referendum that would have authorized the Swiss Air Force to buy 22 fighter jets.